Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top traditional Angola foods and dishes to try when you are in Angola. Angola is a country in southern Africa whose varied terrain encompasses tropical Atlantic beaches, a labyrinthine system of rivers, and a sub-Saharan desert that extends across the border into Namibia, covering an area of 1,246,700 square kilometers. Its food can vary from north to south and from east to west. Angolan cuisine is mostly influenced by Portugal due to its colonial history that spanned over 400 years. The neighboring Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC, also has a great influence on the food consumed by Angolans, especially in the north of the country where a lot of people immigrate from DRC fleeing war and poverty. Catatos Catatos is a unique and unusual Angolan dish. At its most basic, the dish is made by frying caterpillars with garlic, but it can be enriched with the addition of onions, peppers, and tomatoes. The caterpillars should be quite tender but with a crunchy texture. Some say that they even taste like prawns. The dish is packed with nutritional value, since caterpillars have a higher amount of protein and iron than fish or beef. It is recommended to serve catatos with rice, funhe, and hot sauce. Cabrito, goat goat meat is very popular in Angolan cuisine. Goat can be found in the eastern part of the country and is also exported to nearby countries as well. It is often eaten when there is a celebration, graduation party, or even on special holidays. When there is a goat dish on the table, people forget the other meats. It's eaten with rice or funhe and a mix of other traditional dishes, such as kululu, kithaka, or jimboa. Cabidela. Cabidela is a Portuguese dish that has been widely adopted by Angolans. It is made with poultry, and usually chicken. The particularity of the dish is that the chicken blood is added almost at the end, mixed it with vinegar so it doesn't clot, while the rice is boiling, much like jugged or civet dishes. The blood is taken when the animal is slaughtered and gives a brown color to the dish. Occasionally, white rice and funhe can be served with cabidela. Musung or caldo. Caldo is a dish made with fresh fish. It is mostly eaten in the morning after a party or celebration because it is good for hangovers. It is simply made by cutting the fish, kakuso, or crab into cubes, seasoning it, and then boiling it. It is served with a combination of sweet potatoes and cassava, and red palm oil is added to it, giving it a sweet and salty flavor that fights the alcohol in the body if one is hungover. It is usually homemade and served in the mornings. Fumbua Fumbua is one of the dishes that is most consumed in the northern part of Angola and the neighboring country of the DRC. Fumbua are leaves that are collected from the forest and are very rich in vitamins. It can be found in restaurants, but it is mostly sold in the streets. It is cooked with boiling water and salt, palm oil, roasted peanuts, and seasoning. It is very flavorful, especially when served with bag of fumado, chaikuanga or funhe, as shown below. Chaikuanga Chaikuanga is sometimes called cassava bread because it looks like pieces of bread and is made from cassava. The process is simple. The cassava needs to be peeled and cut into pieces. These pieces are then put into cold water where they rest for two days so that they become smooth and fermented. Next it is boiled with water until it gets hard and golden, and then it is wrapped into the banana leaves. Chaiku anga can be served with mafete, bag of fumado, and other dishes. Bag of fumado. Bag of fumado is simply dried catfish. It is extracted from the rivers of Angola and is very popular in the northern region. It is cooked with onions, salt, and tomato, and then it is either grilled or cooked. Bag of fumado can be served with sweet potatoes, okra, or funhe. Arroz com feijo, rice and beans. This is food originated from South America and has been adopted by many countries of the world, Angola being one of them. Angolans consume rice and beans as a base dish, second to funhe. 
Anywhere you go in the country, you can be served this dish. It is so popular that it is often served with traditional dishes such as kithaka, jimboa or kalulu, and it also has a lot of sauce on it. Make a yabu. Make a yabu is the Angolan name for dry fish. It is consumed a lot in Angola, but its origin is traced back to the Congo. The fish can be kakasa or codfish. Make a yabu is often served with funhe, kithaka, cabbage or kalulu. The process involves first soaking it in water for two hours to remove the salt, after which it can be seasoned with salt, spices, tomato, vinegar, and cooking oil. Molio de tomata, ovo and chorizo. Sauce of tomato, egg, and meat sausage is a dish that is well known for being very delicious and easy to prepare. Traditionally it is made with tomato sauce, garlic, meat sausage, onion, and boiled eggs, and that's it. Enjoy it with funhei and a delicious mukua juice. Gingu butterada. Ginguba means peanuts in English. It is mostly eaten as a snack and tastes very good when it is roasted, gingu butterada. This is an on-the-go dish, as Angolans eat it on the streets or in taxi while going to work or with friends. It can be served with roasted plantains or grilled cassava. It is sometimes accompanied with kisonga or mukua. Muamba of chicken. This dish is also well known in Gabon and Congo, where it is considered the national dish. Muamba of chicken consists of chicken cut in pieces with a variety of sauces. The slow-cooked chicken is combined with okra, squash and dendem paste. It's cooked for one hour and is served with funhei. This stew-like dish goes very well with funhei. The strong muamba sauce gives flavor to the very mild cassava funhei. There's also muamba fish, but it's not as well known. Mukua. Mukua is a fruit of the boabab tree originally from the northern part of Angola. It has a hard shell like a coconut. Inside the fruit, there are seeds that are coated with whitish powder, which is the fruit pulp. It has a unique taste and is used to make juices, mousses, and even cakes. It is so delicious that it is now exported to other parts of the world. It is rich in vitamins and calcium, and also helps to reduce blood sugar. Thus, it's often recommended to those who suffer from diabetes. Kisonga. Kisonga is a traditional homemade drink that originated from the south of Angola by the Ovimbundu ethnic group. It is originally a craft drink, but nowadays it has been produced industrially and exported to Europe. It is made with fubá, flour, of corn, and some regions also add pineapple pulp to it and call it pineapple kisonga. This homemade drink is very cheap to make and is usually served in traditional social gatherings. Kisonga is like the national symbol of Angola. Kachupa. This is a hot exotic dish that originated from Cape Verde and has been adopted and modified by Angolans. It consists of a mix of various ingredients with beans being the main one. Similar to mafete, this one is also mostly eaten on the weekends. It is a combination of beans, beef or pork, bacon, potatoes, cassava, and cabbage. It is then seasoned with the usual ingredients. Some people add corn and sweet potatoes to it to give it a light sweet flavor. Kithaka. This is considered the most flavorful dish to be served with funhei. Kithaka are the leaves of cassava. It can be accompanied by fish, meat, or chicken, and it is eaten everywhere throughout the country. It is usually boiled and seasoned with the usual ingredients, tomatoes, onions, salt, oil, and vinegar. It's easy to prepare and very delicious. Kalulu. Kalulu is a very common dish in Angolan cuisine. It can be made with fish or dried meat. It is usually served with funhei. Some people serve it with rice, but the experience is just not the same. This is the kind of dish that people always add something to, such as spice or strong flavors, to make it unique. Kalulu is essentially made of fish or meat, sweet potato leaves, tomato, palm oil, and onions. Jimboa. Jimboa is one of the most eaten vegetables present in Angolan cuisine. 
Originally from the southern region of Angola, this vegetable has a few health benefits. It is rich in fiber and proteins, which help fight against fat and gain muscle mass. It can be prepared with salt, vinegar, tomatoes, and sometimes palm oil, and then brought to a boil. It is served with funhe, kalulu of fish or meat, and frequently with beans. This is a soft dish and can be eaten at any time of the day. Mafete. Mafete is the second most popular and delicious food in Angola after funhe. It is mostly eaten on the weekends at sunset, because it is a little bit heavy, and after eating it people just want to relax. The composition is very straightforward. It is a combination of beans with palm or red oil, grilled fish, boiled plantains and sweet potatoes, chopped onion, and flour, farinha. Mafete is usually made with cacao, a fish found on the shores of Luanda. Some people also add boiled cassava to it. The combination of the salty sauce of the beans and the sweetness of the sweet potatoes makes this dish very delicious. It's one of the few Angolan dishes that is not served with funhe nor rice. Funhe Funhe is the basic dish of the Angolan diet, and it's the most popular food in the country. It is made of fubá, flour, of corn or cassava, yuca. The northern region of Angola eats more funhe made of cassava, and the southern part eats more funhe of corn. Some people like the mixed version too, funhe of cassava and corn. The steps are very simple, but the process requires a little effort. The water needs to come to a boil and then the ingredients are poured into it, just like you would make mashed potatoes. You need strong arms to beat it in order to have a smooth foon hay without any clumps. It is normally eaten at lunch and can be accompanied by other dishes. Instruction before eat check food is halal or haram. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.